Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Last week was an, a week that had just about everything in it. There was some big news that came out, like really, really, really big news. Now, for those of you tuning in on Valentine's Day, for all the lovers celebrating love all over the world, can I please take a few moments to just say how much I appreciate you all coming in, tuning in, listening to The Serpent. It is much, much, much appreciated and I hope you're spending it with loved ones. Now, Russia to regulate digital assets as currency. That one was, that one, was one of the biggest news of the year. McDonald's eyes the metaverse. That's, that's big. YouTube to adopt NFTs and XRP pumped 30%. Yes, it was indeed a week to remember. What does this week bring? As we begin the week, now it may be the day of lovers, of fire and passion. However, the markets themselves have not been too kind to the crypto investors around the world. As we see numbers of minus five, minus three, some even up to minus 10% inside the top 100 today so we're seeing red not the kind of red that we were expecting but we're seeing red roses would have been better however as the week begins you know monday is here in australia monday nights are generally generally are pretty red but what we've had so far is we've had bitcoin drop all the way to 41,681 and we're currently sitting at 42,067 dollars 0.72 percent down for the day it's not really that much and this came as, you know, fears of inflation, fears of all these things happening around the world's economy are starting to develop. People are starting to get scared. When people get scared, they don't invest. However, that's short term. In the long term, nothing has changed in, in the eyes of the serpent as far as how bullish I am on the entire crypto industry having a massive 2022. But we do have to look at these inflations and what's going on around the world's economy because we are part of that. We are a highly, extremely volatile part of it, but we are definitely part of it and we do have to pay attention and pay close attention to it. Now, Apple, of course, also um, unveiled that, you know, the merchants will be able to accept crypto payments by the end of the year. But the big one last week was the XRP price, the XRP bounce that occurred. And of course, since that bounce from a week ago, you know, we reached the highs of 91 cents. We're sitting at 78 cents right now. And at the time when we re reached 91 cents, I did say to you guys, stop chasing green candles because when you chase green candles, you get wrecked. Lucky for some of you actually do listen and pay attention. Now, this was Ripple's official takeaway from the Senate committee hearing on crypto assets. This is very interesting, you know, like the way that, uh, um, the way that it was, uh, I guess, perceived by Ripple. And today's hearing in Senate AG was a clear indication that both sides of the aisle are interested in crypto and looking to collaborate on fostering innovation and protecting consumers. Overall, positive very 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 positive for the crypto world now for me it doesn't come as a shock like it really doesn't like it doesn't come as a shock at all for me this all makes sense it is the future it is being challenged but it's the future like it, we are too far too far into the crypto world the adoption of cryptocurrency to go back now it is being challenged, of course, you know, you've got the SEC chasing um, Ripple. But uh, there is no way from here in 2022 that we take a backward step on cryptocurrency, truly having mass adoption around the world. Now, Flare Network enters new partnership to expand DeFi offering with XRP, Doge, and others. Now, you wanted me to touch on a little bit more about this, and essentially... Flare Network has entered into a new partnership with Ola Finance, a platform offering customized lending networks 
In a bid to further expand the decentralized finance DeFi offering it brings to assets like XRP and Dogecoin. So according to a press release shared by Crypto Globe, Ola is set to launch a lending network on Flare's Canary Network Songbird, with plans to deploy to then deploy it on the Flare mainnet. The partnership helps Flare grow. It suits on DeFi offerings as projects build on both Songbird and Flare. You'll be able to deploy a lending network through Ola's protocol. Really, really exciting. I am very, very, very excited about Flare, about what's happening, about how that ecosystem is going to really strengthen the overall bigger picture of the XRP ecosystem. Because remember, XRP is coming for all the money. Not a little bit, all the money. Now, Ripple could face rejection at a dollar. So as the market begins to surge, as we will once again start to move towards uh, the dollar market, there could be some very strong resistance. There could be some very strong, um, I guess, you know, pressure from, 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 the, from the bears when we go back to $1. So that will be a key significant, I guess, uh, point when we reach that again. Now if we reach 91 and then we dropped, and I think we will reach a dollar and I think we will drop and then we will continue to rise. So it is important to pay attention to the finer details. Now XRP price breaks a bear market trend line, returns Ripple to bull mode. And I indeed, finally, FX Street posts something that I agree with uh, from them. So XRP price recently broke the bear trend line. A prior long trade setup identified on Friday returned to a price level that allows for another entry if, if it was missed. Downside risks exist, but are likely limited. This is great. This is good. Very, very good to see from uh, different analysts to, to see that, that 75 cents could be a great support level for them to us to continue to, to bounce and bounce high we will. So exciting times ahead, exciting, exciting times ahead. The bullish mode is being activated, right? It's it's time. And and you know, like I love I love it when XRP pumps 30% and people message me like, what's going on? Like, it's supposed to. Like we've been waiting a very, very long time for this. It is time for well, it's XRP's time, really. There's been, you know, over the years, you know, we've had Bitcoin, you know, obviously last year with its massive rise that it had from January to April. It's XRP's time. Now, over the course of the weekend, we did have Ripple go 8% up while Bitcoin was maintaining a 42k level. And we spoke about the difference between the, the dominance of Bitcoin and XRP. And we've got the birds at full flare tonight. Today I'm making so much noise outside. I can't wait. I'm going to make a video outside so you guys can meet these birds. They're so loud tonight. Unbelievable. But it was very, very interesting, right? If you didn't watch yesterday's video, I showed a graph where it showed the dominance of Bitcoin versus Ripple uh, versus XRP and how that there is starting to swing in the way of XRP and moving away from the Bitcoin dominance. So it's really interesting what is going on. Now, obviously, today we've had the price drop. The market, the mar the market has dropped. But this we have to pay attention to in 2022 because there will come a day in 2022 where XRP will completely move away from the Bitcoin dominance, completely. And then that day is coming and it is coming in 2022. It's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but that day is coming. There will come a day in 2022 where XRP will move itself away from the Bitcoin dominance. Now, what does that look like? Like, what? where, where are we heading to next? Well, I can tell you that that 16 to $37 window is not far fetched. Like it's not, it's not, a, uh, it's not fiction. Me, I'm more on the, you know, this next phase will take us all the way to 16, but not closer to 37. I think 37 is a bit of a stretch, but technically from numbers point of view, it could go there. But for me, I'm going to say 16. This is where this next wave is going to be taking us. If it does take us all the way to 37, believe me, I won't be complaining, but I believe it will be, it'll be close to 16. And this particular line is one of the lines that we need to break. And this is on the weekly formation. So on the weekly formation. So time is coming. It's, it's there. Like we are very, 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 very close. 
and as we look towards the future, like long term, very, very long term, you know, going into triple digits, once again, is not science fiction. There will come a day. Now, when that day is, you and I do not know. We can make uh, projections. We can we can look at this. Uh, we can analyze it all we want. Uh, but nobody has a date of when that will happen. But will there come a day that XRP is triple digits? Yeah. I My personal opinion is yes. That's my personal opinion. And again, take it, take it as just that. One person's opinion. Or one serpent's opinion, right? But right now, what we need to do is we need to go above $1.20. And find support above a dollar twenty. Once we do that, we'll be heading very fast towards a dollar eighty, two twenty, and then we start to move uh, towards three thirty. Because between two twenty and three thirty, there's no previous history. Because when it bounced to three thirty last time, it went within days. There was no resistance. But the future looks incredible. The future looks incredible about where we're heading. What is going on? What is happening? I'm excited to be with you this week. If you did learn something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.